Are we rolling? I can't see the teleprompter. Good thing I remember that our next guest is Evelyn Chin, who's bringing a sense of touch to virtual reality. But that's just a guess. I can't see anything. Uh, are you guys still here? You know what's terrible? Living across the country from your loved ones. I mean, I know I can just pick up the phone or video call them, but sometimes you just miss a hug from your mom. Luckily, there's someone who's working on that technology right now. Today, I'm meeting with a computer scientist named Evelyn Chin, who's working on making long distance touch a reality, a virtual reality, if you will. Evelyn Chin is the real deal. She's an engineer for a hardware-enabled software company working in augmented, virtual, and extended reality. I wasn't excited in high school. At that point, I was doing homework and I had nothing else to do. And I really wanted to work on something that was important, that was meaningful, and I was really contemplating questions like, what am I gonna do for the world and how can I help out? Feeling like she had nothing to lose, Evelyn cold emailed many software companies. The only one that replied ended up hiring her. And today she's an engineer working to bring the sense of touch to the virtual realm. Hey, Evelyn. Hey, man, what's up? So what do you do here at this company? We essentially bring touch to virtual reality. What does that mean, bringing touch to virtual reality? It means that you put on a headset and you see something, say it's a leaf and you're able to feel the leaf. Or say it's someone's hand, and you're able to feel someone's hands. That takes the form of a device on the table. It emits ultrasound waves to a certain point in space so you can feel vibrating air. That's incredible. So I could be on the phone with someone and I can reach out and touch them? That's the goal. We're focusing on human connection. By bringing touch to virtual reality, we're hoping to bring people closer together who are far away. That is incredible and so wholesome. <laughs> can I play with this technology? Oh, absolutely. Yeah? Touch is the first sense humans encounter. It promotes development, strengthens emotional bonds, and is fundamental to social communication. So if this experience is all that Evelyn promises, my mind is about to be blown. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is so cool. This is our holodeck. Wow, so this is the device. This is the device, this is it. Wow, <laughs> she looks cute. She's sleek, yeah. It's about the size of a laptop. It's got 400 ultrasound transducers underneath. The transducer kind of looks a little like these. They're like little circles. They really look like little tiny speakers. And that's kind of exactly what they are. They pop out sound waves and you're able to feel the air that it vibrates. Wow. Evelyn explains that these small foam circles emit ultrasound waves that vibrate the air. And it's these vibrations our brains interpret as touch. Like how at concerts you can feel the music thumping from the giant speakers. It's the same with these transducers. Except here, engineers like Evelyn take all that sound wave energy and squish it into a single point in space. Allowing the user to feel things up to 3 feet above and in a 120 degree cone around the device. Have you ever been in virtual reality? I have been in virtual reality before, but I've never been able to feel the things that I see. Right, so when you go in, just be prepared. Spoiler alert, I was not prepared. Something is happening. <laughs> Evelyn and I check out the center, a virtual room where users can hang with their friends, interact with family, and even virtually shake hands. Wow, <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> really jarring, actually, to see me shaking your hand and then also feel it. And what's so awesome is that your brain is incredible, and it fills in all the gaps for you so that even if it doesn't feel like a real hand, it feels like someone is there. Just like how when we look at optical illusions, our brains fill in the gaps for our eyes, so we think we see shapes where ones don't exist. But Evelyn and I have more to do, like shoot lightning from our fingers. No way! Or send each other heart emojis that we can feel. <gasps> what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yep, you just gave me a heart and I can give one back. That was really sweet. I also felt like completely different vibrations on my hand that time. It felt like it was in my palms and kind of in the shape of a heart and then it also felt like it was moving around my hands. Yeah. And of course, the ultimate game changer. Do you play chess? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> Evelyn, I'm not trying to be dramatic here, but this is the best day of my life. Well, I can't believe that was your first time because you actually destroyed me in both of those games. So I think I'm done. Yeah, sounds good. Let's get back to reality. <laughs> Ooh. 
Evelyn, thank you so much for an incredible day. It was our pleasure. It was so cool to see how computer science can be used to help solve problems. And this technology in particular can help bring people together. Yeah, we're really trying our best here. Well, I think it's only fitting. If we end with the tactile heart. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you later. Man. Take care. All this heart talk is making me miss. Hey, Mom, I just finished up work and I was thinking of you, so I thought I'd give you a call. What's up? I haven't heard from you in a month. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? I, yeah, yeah, I've just been Are busy. You eating? Have you been taking your vitamins? Because it's really important. Yeah, Mom, I have been taking. I don't want you getting sick. Uh huh. You know what? Next time I'll just send my mom a tactile heart. If you're watching this, you must have really liked the video. Make sure you follow and subscribe and check out these other videos that are even better. No, really. I've seen this one over a hundred times.